It was a season that started with honoring a legend, the architect of the avalanche. Avalanche faithful, please stand and join us as we raise Pierre's banner to the rafters. The late general manager Pierre Lacroix led the avalanche out of Quebec and into the Stanley Cup in one swift season. He was that, in my opinion, the presence every team in sports needs if you're going to win at that level. And they won at that level quite a bit. Two Stanley Cup championships and nine consecutive division titles, dating back to the final year with the Nordiques. Caught up in the middle of it, we, you don't really understand that what we did, you know, we actually won nine years in a row, the, the division, we went so far uh, and they kept the team together. Keeping it together like a family, a constant theme for Lacroix's tenure. So he, he, was, he really cared, and when you hear about family, and we all experienced it because we were able to play for him, but it, it, it almost gave us some extra push, I think. You didn't want to let him down. Pierre's son Eric had the unique pleasure of playing for his father's teams in the late 90s, and being a close observer of his former teammate Joe Sackick's teams now. He sees a lot of similarities between the current squad and the last one to lift a cup. When in 01, they all had the pressure to win, then Ray was here and let's do one for And him. after 22 years, Ray the Mark! And Joe's been through it. That was probably a more satisfying Stanley Cup than the 96 one for one reason. They, they were able to handle the pressure, and I think that Joe's driving the boat now and he's been through it, so I think they welcome the pressure here in Colorado for this season. One more team photo to come yet for this Avalanche team.